Hello everyone, this is Jacqueline at English Tutor Hub and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a grammar lesson and the subject is reflexive pronouns and intensive pronouns. So let's start. Introduction I am baking Jane a cake. I am baking her a cake. So personal pronoun. The word her is a personal pronoun and this is replacing this is replacing the word chain but if i would like a cake how do we say this so if i want a cake how can we say this i am baking me a cake this is actually wrong personal pronoun so this is wrong here i have said me as a personal pronoun but this is wrong i am baking me a cake number two here i am baking myself a cake this is now correct this is now using a reflexive pronoun myself and this is correct so here in this example of a reflexive pronoun and this is what we're gonna look at in this lesson so in this lesson you will learn the eight reflexive pronouns and intensive pronouns and then you will learn how to use reflexive pronouns and how to use intensive pronouns so reflexive pronouns intensive pronouns in this column in red this is the list of eight reflexive pronouns and eight reflect eight intensive pronouns so the eight words are reflexive and intensive pronouns it is the same words for both so in blue here in light blue we have the singular first person singular myself second person singular yourself third person singular male himself third person singular female herself third person singular neuter itself okay and then we have the plural so first person plural ourselves second person plural yourselves third person plural themselves and try to look at carefully in the singular they all they all end in letter f myself yourself himself herself itself and in the plural they end with the letter V E S ourselves yourselves V E S themselves V E S all right so now reflexive pronouns and intensive pronouns reflexive pronouns and intensive pronouns they are the same words but the use is very different they are different the use of them is very different and we will see that in this lesson so first let's look at the reflexive pronoun so reflexive pronoun uses number one we use the reflexive pronouns when the subject and object are the same person so a reflexive pronoun is an object that reflects back to a subject. So it is 
an object of the sentence and it reflects back to a subject example here john is washing the car himself before going to work so john is the subject and object this is in fact means john is washing the car john before going to work okay so himself reflects back to the subject which is john all right so this is the object himself and it reflects back to the subject it is the same person and we can use a reflexive pronoun as three different types of objects as a three different types of object so a reflexive pronoun can represent can represent a direct object it can also represent as an indirect object and it can also represent as an object of preposition so let's look at the examples of each of these three first is direct object so here we use a reflexive pronoun as a direct object to reflect back the subject Helen is cooking herself for lunch so the subject is Helen Helen is cooking the subject is also Helen Helen is cooking and the object is also Helen Helen is cooking for Helen the position of a reflexive pronoun is immediately after the verb so as you can see here the verb the verb cooking and then we have the reflexive pronoun herself so more examples i am learning myself how to use the computer and is learning herself how to use the computer so an is a female so we use the third person singular singular female reflexive pronoun herself okay another examples we enjoyed ourselves at the party roger always looks at himself at the mirror let us now look at a reflexive pronoun as an indirect object it's very similar we use a reflexive pronoun as an indirect object to reflect back the subject it's very similar so we use a reflexive pronoun as an indirect object to reflect back to the subject the examples here olivia pours a cup of tea for himself every morning so the subject the subject is olivia olivia pours a cup of tea and this time the indirect object is also olivia because a cup because a cup of tea is for olivia and 
Here again, the position of a reflexive pronoun is immediately after the verb. The verb pours, the verb pours, and then the reflexive pronoun herself, the reflexive pronoun herself. Example here, Mike decided to reward himself with a dinner out. So, Mike Mike is the subject, himself is the indirect object, and it is the third person male singular, so we say himself. So reflexive pronoun as an, as an object of preposition. We use a reflexive pronoun as the object of a preposition when the object is the same as the subject of the verb. Example, they had to cook for themselves. He was feeling very sorry for himself. The position of the reflexive pronoun is immediately after the preposition. So here is the preposition. Here is the preposition for. So cook has a preposition with it because they have to cook for somebody which is which is themselves and this time the reflexive pronouns comes after the preposition okay the position of the the, the what you call this guys the the position this time the reflexive pronoun comes after the preposition example here yeah, again, the position of the reflexive pronoun is immediately after the preposition. Example, she is ashamed of herself for her deeds. Sometimes, I consult things with myself. Okay? Next, common reflexive verbs in English. So we have here transitive verbs. When appropriate, we can use reflexive pronouns as the object of these verbs. So we have amuse, hurt, blame, cut, introduce, dry, kill, enjoy, prepare, help, satisfy, teach. There are other verbs. There are other verbs. There are many, many other verbs. In fact, but these are these are the most common verbs where we use reflexive pronouns. Let's look at some examples. We have been preparing ourselves for the sports day. She taught herself to play the piano. My son amused himself watching cartoons movie. There are other verbs. There are other ver again there are many other verbs in fact but these are the most common verbs where we use reflexive pronouns. Let's look at some examples. Verbs that are always reflexive. verbs that are always reflexive but do not have a normal form okay so we have here 
BC one cell, pride one cell. So here, while waiting for the bus, I busied myself reading the magazine. So to pass the time. So while I was waiting for the bus, meaning that I occupied myself reading a magazine. I passed the time reading a magazine. All right. So this list, this list of verbs here above, this list of verbs here above or on or at the top. Of course, they don't have to be reflexive. Sometimes we use them normally without a reflexive pronoun. Okay. But these verbs here, by oneself, pride, oneself, they only have a reflexive form. There are some verbs, there are some verbs that change their meaning when reflexive. Example here we have apply. So the normal use, I applied as a waiter today. And when it is reflexive, if you want to get a job, you must apply yourself. So you must apply yourself. Apply yourself, this means you must you must work hard this meaning is very different to when we use apply with a reflexive pronoun okay next we have here help i'm sure you you all know what help means it means to assist somebody someone somebody so here john helped mary with her project all right but the meaning changes when it becomes reflexive john helped himself to a coffee help himself this means john took a coffee that he served a coffee to himself yes so the meaning is very different as we have here fine I'm sure you all know what the word find means normally. When you lose something, then later you'll find something. So, examples here. I found my wallet today. I found my wallet today. But, but when it is a reflexive verb, it is very different. This morning, I found myself sleeping on the ground this means that i was surprised when i discovered i was on the ground that means you discover yourself in a situation and you're surprised i was surprised when i discovered i was on the ground okay and we have here c So, we see something with our eyes. Example, I saw Roger Federer in London yesterday. But when it is reflexive, it is very different. When I was a child, I saw myself as a teacher. This means I pretended to be a teacher. I imagined that I was a teacher. So, I was dreaming about being a teacher. So, these verbs, apply, help, find, see, these verbs change their meanings when they are reflexive. And, this, and there are other examples, but these are very common examples. Now, let's look at some common mistakes. Reflexive pronouns, common mistakes number one. 
we do not use a reflexive pronoun after a preposition of place or with if it is obvious that the meaning is reflexive. Instead, we use a personal object pronouns. Example, he took his umbrella with himself. This is wrong. He took his umbrella with him. This is correct. Okay? Because, this is correct, this is because in the context, in the context, he took his umbrella with himself. In the context of the sentence, he took his umbrella. The umbrella can only be the subject of the sentence. It can't be with somebody else. So, we do not need to specify that it is reflexive because the context of the sentence tells us that it is reflexive. So, in this instance, with the word with, with the word, in this instance, with the word with or another preposition of place, we use, we use a personal, we use a personal subject pronoun with him, okay? The second common mistake, we do not use a reflexive pronoun as a subject. Remember, we said earlier that a reflexive pronoun is an object of a sentence. So, we must never use it as a subject of the sentence. So, we use a personal subject pronoun. Example, James and myself went to Bangkok. This is wrong. We must say, James and I went to Bangkok. This is now correct. So here, we have used a reflexive pronoun, myself, but this is wrong. Because we need a subject here, right? This mistake is very common even with native English speakers. Alright? So... Be careful, you will hear and see this a lot, but this is a mistake. Reflexive pronouns, common mistakes number two. Another common mistake is in English, we do not use a reflexive pronoun for actions that people usually do for themselves. Example, Tim showers himself every day. This is wrong. In English version, in English version, guys, this is wrong. So we should say, Tim showers every day or Tim showers every morning. This is correct. Next year, Anne is ironing herself her dress, which is wrong. We should say, Anne is ironing her dress. Sorry, there is, there is wrong here. Anne is ironing her dress, which is correct version. Next year, Alan is cutting himself his nails. Alan is cutting his nails. Okay, guys? So, these are are common mistakes these are common mistakes by english learners because in other european languages like french and spanish then all of these verbs all of these verbs are reflexive now let's move on to intensive pronouns Remember, it is the same eight words 
but we use them very differently and the meaning is also very different so intensive pronouns they simply add emphasis to a noun or pronoun they simply add emphasis to a noun or pronoun so the noun or pronoun that they add the noun or pronoun that they add emphasis to is called the antecedent okay and intensive pronouns intensive intensive uh, pronouns they are not intensive pronouns they are not the object of the sentence and unlike reflexive pronouns the subject and object are not the same person so we are not reflecting back to the subject we don't have the concept of a reflexive verb for example down here are you sure kate is coming tonight yes she herself told me so herself is emphasizing she 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 again the word herself is emphasizing she or intensifying the subject she she told me nobody told me and so we are stressing we are stressing the fact that it is it is kate who told me and so we are saying in fact that kate told that kate told me personally okay in fact we are stressing that kate told me personally she told me directly she told me personally and she told me directly i'm making it clear that it was kate next example the manager you must sign the contract yourself so yourself is emphasizing is emphasizing you the word you it's emphasizing the subject you you must sign the contract nobody else so here the intensive pronoun yourself is intensifying or emphasizing the subject the subject you you must sign the contract yourself all right and as you can see we have two choices for the position the position of the intensive pronoun is either after the antecedent the antecedent or at the end of the clause now there is a specific expression with intensive pronouns we can say the word by plus intensive pronouns and it means and it means alone or without help examples again we use by plus intensive pronouns to mean alone or without help examples my friends don't want to go to the museum so i'll go by myself i'll go by myself it means i'll go i will go alone or i'll go alone okay so and prepared breakfast by herself this means that Anne. Have you, this means that Anne prepared the breakfast nobody helped her she prepared the breakfast alone okay 
Only Anne prepared the breakfast. Nobody helped her. The woman is sitting on the bench by herself. So the woman is sitting on the bench alone. Meaning, oh, the woman is sitting on the bench alone. So this is the meaning. Okay, guys. So this is the end of this tutorial. Please visit the official website of this channel, EnglishTutorHub.com, for the practice exercise. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave your comments below this video, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. See you on my next video. My name is Javelin. Thank you for watching.